Hey Tori, so with it being September, there's a lot of Oscar bait type movies on the horizon. So I just wanted to make a top 10 list of my most anticipated movies for the rest of the year. So coming in at number 10 is Brad Status. It's a Ben Stiller movie about a kid trying to get into college and his dad going along on the college road trip with him while he's interviewing for schools. It looks like it's going to have some comedic elements, but it's mostly going to be a drama. At number 9 I have Battle of the Sexes with Emma Stone and Steve Carell. This is the story of Billie Jean King's tennis match against Bobby Riggs. This movie has a pretty predictable outcome, but Steve Carell still looks really funny in the role and it'll be interesting to see all the backstory behind it. For number 8 I have the movie Stronger, which is a Jake Gyllenhaal movie about the Boston Marathon bombing and a survivor. This looks like a real heartwarming, tearjerker type of movie. Number 7 is Gerald's Game which is a Stephen King thriller, and I always look forward to Stephen King. At number six, I have Kingsman and the Golden Circle, so I'm relying heavily on the success of the first one because that movie was a very pleasant surprise, so I'm hoping this sequel can live up to what the first one was like. Number five is Coco, which is a Pixar animated film. I'm looking forward to it because it's an original film. It's not just a sequel or a prequel like they've been making, and even though I have enjoyed all their movies recently, it'll still be nice to get a new story from them. For number four, I have Call Me By Your Name, which is a coming of age story. It looks like it's really going to be an artsy type movie, so kind of a little bit slower, but I'm still really excited for it. The Killing of a Sacred Deer is my number three choice. It's another artsy type movie from A24, and it has the same director as The Lobster, which was one of my favorite movies when that came out. The Lobster perfectly captured my sense of humor, and I'm hoping they can kind of recreate this magic with The Killing of the Sacred Deer. My number two movie is Star Wars The Last Jedi, another Star Wars movie, so of course I'm going to be really excited for it, and I'm hoping this one can be a lot more different than Episode 7 was, but I'm going to see it no matter what, basically. And my most anticipated movie of the year is The Florida Project. This is a movie about a mother and a daughter who live in Kissimmee, which is the town right next to Orlando and right next to Disney World. I'm really excited for this movie because I used to live right in that area, and so while I was watching the trailer and some of the other clips, I was noticing a lot of the landmarks. And this is another coming-of-age story that I just think looks really interesting because it's kind of telling a different story that people don't normally see, especially from the Orlando area, because it's showing a poor family and how they're surviving in this area right next to the happiest place on earth. I think it's a really interesting looking movie and I'm looking forward to seeing it. So there's my top 10. I don't know how many of those I'll actually be able to see but hopefully as many as possible. My honorable mentions for this list would be Marshall, American Assassin, Wonder, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, and Thor Ragnarok.